welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Today was a little unexpected. I'm still in Lisbon, Portugal. I've been attending the Web Summit with BMW. However, late last night, I got a DM on Instagram from Sport Class. Now, I knew nothing about them, um, but I've discovered that they are, well, you're gonna find out in a second, but quite an extraordinary treasure trove, trove, treasure trove of vintage Porsche. They do have a modern section as well, but I am stood right now in their sort of restoration workshop and I, I underestimated and you're going to underestimate just how special some of the cars are that are lurking around inside this unit. So I'm going to stop talking, show you some of the stuff and then start to walk around and point out the quite incredible cars that are here. The stories of these cars are so detailed that I need some help. So, ladies and gentlemen, Andre, I'm going to say Nunez, but it's, it's Nunch in Portuguese, right? Yes, is that right? Is. I'm trying my best. Um, so, because I don't want to miss any of the sort of really interesting stories around some of these cars, um, I, I've brought you in to sort of help explain what we're looking at. So, please, give us a tour, show us what you've got in here. So, first, welcome. Um, this is a, a 911 S from a 68, 2.2 2 litre engine. This was actually um, a rally car and uh, we just restored, the car is ready for a uh, test drive and we put it like, well we, di we didn't put like the stickers but the, the heart of this, it's like a rally engine, it's amazing to drive. I absolutely love the way this, this looks, firstly I'm obsessed with rally lights now, <laughs> but the interior of this is stunning and I heard you put heated seats in this? Yeah of course you the <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be comfortable as it a rally car. Yeah. It's a car to drive to work. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. No, but it's super, super stunning. And I think an awesome example of the kind of stuff that the guys do down here because it looks like a beautiful car now, but this has proper, uh, you know, rally heritage, which is, which is awesome to see. And speaking of rally heritage, I can't stop looking at this. So this is like um, another 911S from 72. This car actually, like, belonged to my, to my granddad. Uh, it's, it's well, let's let's not undersell your granddad for a second. <laughs> I'm not going to try and pronounce his name because I struggled enough with your name, Andre. <laughs> but am I right? He's sort of Mr. Porsche Portugal, right? He's one of the most successful rally racing drivers from Portugal. Yes, he was. That's and pretty I'm, good. I'm really proud to say that, and it's such a privilege to be able to just take a car that he was sat down racing like a few years ago, and just go out and enjoy it, it's amazing. What, what year did you mention this was, do you remember? Or, or 1972. 1972, and the, the livery, was uh, that's how it was racing back in the day? Yeah, this is how it was racing back in the day. So we, when we restored the car, we decided to pick the livery of one of the rallies that he won, okay. which is the, the rally Rota do Sol. Um, in, uh, I can tell, in 1978. Oh yeah, I know, this, this, this is actually a brilliant thing. So up here, these are sort of the main cars that your granddad Raced? Yes, exactly. Okay, and there you go. There are the first poster we have the the 2.4 S, which is right here, I mean, which I freaking love. Um, so yeah, I, I'm obsessed with this. And you, very kindly, uh, one of your colleagues already started this up for me, and it sounds so mean. <laughs> Just think about like back in the days, like rallies were completely different. So you would go to work from like Monday to Friday on this car, park it on the drive, and then uh, Friday night goes to, to do the training and racing on Sunday. It was just it's what dreams are made of, mate. What yeah. are we doing with our time, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, now you're heading over there, but I need to come over here because how often does anyone see a 935 these days and you guys have just got it tucked away like completely meaningless but that is amazing yeah this car was uh, twice champion of uh, hill climb uh, in portugal it was made by the um, almeras brothers okay um they like the car is 
ready to to go. I think he's crying because he's been sad yeah, for too I was long. Yeah, say super cool to see, iconic, and obviously lots of you will know uh, that Porsche just did a sort of homage car based on the GT2 RS, uh, which which links back to the 925. But I just I love the wheels on this thing. I don't know if you can see that properly, but it's just a mega looking car, isn't it? A mega looking car. <laughs> anyway, is. sorry, continue the tour. I interrupted so, you. Like as you as you can see, like we we. Like we are really passionate about Porsche, and we we want to bring everything to, to try to be the most original that we can. So we we go to the roots, we do research, and try to bring the cars to how they were the the first day that they left the factory. So like we we search everything, like from paint, interiors. Like if you if you come here, this is like a 1977 turbo. It's the first turbos. Like to drive this, like it's incredible. Like the turbo, like when it kicks in, it just You're flies. Gone. Yeah, it just flies. <laughs> but look at this interior. This is amazing. So this is how the car would have been when it left the factory back yeah, in the day. Exactly. I exactly. mean, what a baller to spec this option. Like you got black on black on black on the outside, and then this awesome interior. Why don't they offer this on modern 911s? Bring back the. I don't even know what you would call that, but uh, it, it's it's br brilliant. And so, is this kind of nearly re ready to leave? Is that nearly a finished product? Yeah, this product? car, this car, like, is just doing like the final uh, tunes. It's ready, like, for test driving. Okay. Um, oh. This car was like champion three times. I think it's the car that has like more trophies in uh, in Iberian Peninsula. But you know what I love is the the pattern, the the fact that it looks so bruised and battered, and you know, from heritage. I mean, is your plan to keep the car like this, or will you? Will no, you we we are planning. Well, now we are in between two. Two. We have two choices. Either we're going to restore it and make it like impeccable, or we're going to like fix all the mechanics and look like and leave the. The, the outside of the car like the I think you should leave it I think I mean I understand you mechanically you got to get it working again but I just love the I think it just creates so much history seeing you know the, the cars it is all kind of beaten up and peeling stickers and stuff <laughs> I'm a big fan I'm a big fan but uh, yeah very cool very important car the history of Porsche but also the history of, of Portuguese you know rally and racing so thank you for showing me that <laughs> here we have a uh... An original um, 911 RSR so from cool. 1974. Like again, we are gonna restore it like to how it was back in the days. The car has a three-liter engine. Like this is the engine here, right? No, or no, that's something else. This one, this car. This is the engine of the the 914 six-cylinder. Oh, okay. The car that is. Over there. Ah, okay. That's the 914. This, this engine um, is is being is like under under construction. Okay, okay. So again, this is your this is where you do all your engine yes. restoration and building in that corner. So this is one of the one of the ones you've done, but it's obviously not for this car because that's a special engine that needs to go in there, right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of my audience, are, well, I'm sure a lot of my audience will know what these are, but. There's a much more famous Carrera GT out there, yeah, um, is. but this is a, a 924 Carrera yeah, GT? Yeah, exactly. They're, so, they're quite rare in themselves, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like they're around like 400. Okay. Um, and You've got five. I think we have five, <laughs> so we have 1% of like production here whoa, whoa, whoa. sitting down there. Um, now they're just resting. Fair enough. Have you owned those for a long time? Yeah, about like 15, 20 years. Wow, okay, okay, beautiful. And then take me, take me through to the to the workshop, I guess, in the back, because um, I just want to see, these are, I guess, are some cars you're working on at the moment. So. Yeah, this is something you don't see every day. This is our fabrication shop. Here, like, it's different from, like, these days you have an accident, like, you remove one plastic panel and you put another one. Here, it's completely different. Like, everything is made by hand. Like by these incredible technicians we have here. Like we go to the roots. Like if you, this is a 911 S as well. Um, if you look here, for example, that is like a really interesting thing to see inside. So if you take a closer look, like you can see some parts of the car that have been fixed previously, like in the past. So like this is meant to be like a smooth surface, but in there, like you can see like. A patch there, another patch there, another patch there. So like, when they fixed it, like back in the days, instead of removing the whole front, they just like cut it, cut it like what's 
was rusty or there was a problem, they just like put another one. But here we just remove all of it and put like original, like perfect. Well, you can see some of, the, some, some of the new parts you got there, right? That's a bit, a bit of body work that you Yeah, like here you can see like the, the rust of the, the car, like as here, this is a, a new part. Oh, this is hot. <laughs> yeah, careful now. <laughs> And uh, like here, you can take a look. There is no floor because the floor was completely destroyed. Like, yeah. um, so this is really like a complete like nuts and bolts restoration. Like you are literally starting from the from the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Okay, wow. And this is. Do you tend? Does it tend to be more this like a complete strip down, or do you do smaller bits of work? Like someone's just you know bashed in the front end. Uh, like like how how much of your work is a complete strip down, and how much of it is a little bit? Like. 90% of our work we, we go like wow okay. all our cars we go to like the roots if it's supposed from a car we do what they they want Amazing. this is like the place that our our customers oh my god this is, the, this is the coolest room ever <laughs> this is like our our meeting room and uh, our classic department um, uh, like setup Basically, like, well, you can see something you don't yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, the, the centerpiece is quite stunning. <laughs> uh, but I'm also, I mean, like, just, come on, I just need to go and show around here. Because firstly, you, some people will see this as junk, but I just see this as an amazing array of incredible parts. Um, we've got model cars, books, awesome posters. Uh, this is a man cave dream. <laughs> yeah. It is indeed. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk, let's talk about the 906, because I know a lot of people are going to be uh, yeah, super interested in this. Well, for us, like this is almost part of the furniture. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And uh, so this is a 906. It's a car that um, Porsche did um, the model after the 904. Um, a curiosity. So Porsche, back in the day, in around the 60s, when they did this car, um, they didn't have much budget. And this is the first car that uh, Porsche um, son did. Um, and he didn't have much budget, so like the company told him, right, you want to do your first race car, you have to use parts from the, 90, the 904. So all the suspension and uh, the chassis is the same as the previous model. They just improved like some of the aerody aerodynamics, the engine, and uh, like, they, are, they were built like 60, like these days, I don't even know how wow. many are out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like completely original, we just finished it, we're like, we are really proud to have this car here. And have you owned this since he raced it? Like have you owned it throughout or? Yeah, we have owned this car like for many, many wow. years and we, we thought like now was the right time to, to restore it. It's beautiful. Uh, behind you, that is, uh, if you look oh, at the wall, yeah, here. That's, that's the... The, the car racing. Wow, that's awesome. Was this, was he successful in it? Did he did he win races in it or anything? Um, so, this car uh, was champion of the his um, own uh, class. Okay. But in it never won a race. <laughs> so it was like champion through, on points, basically. Yeah, exactly on points, like oh, through wow. consistent. So being like third, fourth, second, third, fourth, second, wow, fifth. Wow, wow. While the other cars, like the Ferraris, the Lolos, they would like break down and then become like. So it sounds cla classic Ferraris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super cool. You got the book here. Yeah, I mean, I'm obsessed with this room, by the way. I, I, I literally this uh, this is like a dream for me to set up as an office. I could edit here. I could definitely edit that. I would have spotted you've got a coffee machine. Um, and when so, you want to break, you just can go there and play get, some pinball. Play some pinball. This is so so cool. <laughs> This has been the most unexpectedly awesome morning. Um, what I'm so happy about is I'm coming back to Lisbon next year and I'm going to come and live in here for a week. So, sorry Andre, but you're going to see a lot more it's of a me. Pleasure. Because I'm so late. I'm supposed to be back at the Web Summit in 20 minutes and about it's about 45 minutes away. But I've spent the whole morning just drooling over... I mean, look, I haven't even pointed out the bikes that's going on in here. I need to come back, but hopefully you guys have found it interesting, the the history, but also the work that is being done here. Makes me think that at some point in my life, I would love to do a classic 9-11 project, and maybe Sport Class are the guys to do it for me. Oh, and look at the, look at the bonnets, like, look, oh, that is, ah, oh, there's so much to look at. But, as I say, I'm late. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you want to know more about these guys, if you want to follow what they're doing, head over there on Instagram, they'll put their website in the link, uh, in the description box below, etc. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Is there a trick to this? I'm not sure. Wait.